Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Yajid Bastomi I am from UIN Said Ali Rahmatullah Tulangagung Here, I will demonstrate a practicum video The topic is The effect of water salinity on fish respiration rate The formulation of the problem is as follows 1. Does the difference in salinity levels affect fish respiration rate? And 2. Does the difference in salinity level affect fish activity? The objective of this experiment is 1. To determine the effect of differences in salinity levels on fish respiration rate and 2. To determine the effect of differences in salinity levels on fish activity. The hypothesis of this experiment is as follows. 1. There is an effect of different salinity levels on fish respiration rates. 2. There is an effect of different salinity levels on fish activity. The tools and the materials that I use in this experiment are for Becker glass, pH meter, digital scales, refractometer, thermometer, hand counter, stopwatch, gloves, tissue, pen and paper, and then the ometer. And the materials are salt, water, and fish. Also, seawater. The first step is to measure the weight of the fish with a digital skill. I choose 4 fish that have the same weight which is 6 gram. The next step is to check the salinity of the seawater. The second step is to make 4 different salinities on each packet glass. We can determine the salinity that we want with the following formula. I want to make for different salinities with the details of class E 5 ppt, class B 10 ppt, class C 20 ppt, and class D 30 ppt. This is my calculation to determine how much seawater is needed to mix with fresh water. Third step is to fill each baker glass with fresh water according to the calculation of added seawater. For example, if based on the calculation of glass B, the added seawater is 156 ml, so we will fill glass B with 344 ml of fresh water to fill 500 ml of solution. Then we fill the baker glass according to the calculation. This is seawater. Uh, I'm gonna mix it with the fresh water on the glass baker. So uh, we get the salinity that I want. The next step is to measure the pH and DO in each solution and record it in paper. And then also measure the temperature with a thermometer. Make sure the temperature is the same. The next step is to put the fish into each picker glass. Fill each glass with one fish. And then count the upper glow movement and observe the fish activity for one minute. Repeat six times every five minutes.
After that, we get the result as follows. This is the result of measuring pH, temperature, and dissolved oxygen in the four solutions. Fish are a group of animals that have different physiological mechanisms for land animals because it is related to their living habitat in the aquatic environment. The aquatic environment has an osmotic pressure with the cell environment in the fish body, so that in order to survive, it must take adaptation to prevent excess or lack of water, and also maintain a balance of ions in the body. This must be done so that physiological process that takes place in the body can take place normally, homeostasis condition. Salinity is the value of the solubility of salt in seawater. Each fish has its own tolerance standard for salinity levels. There are fish that are tolerant of high salinity and there are fish that are tolerant of low salinity. It all depends on the adaptability of the fish physiology. The higher salinity of the media, the slower the fish activity and the faster the respiration rate. If we look at the experimental data that I got, it is proven true that the higher the salinity, the less fish activity but an increase in the respiration rate. Slow activity is indicated by sample C and D, which does not move at 30 minutes. Fish respiration rate increases with increasing salinity. This is because in high salinity, the level of oxygen in the water becomes lower due to the large number of dissolved ions in the water. The salinity level to high or low and the fluctuation weight can cause death in fish. The deaths due to disturbance of osmotic pressure body fluids. The osmotic pressure, the media will be a burden for fish. So it takes relatively large amount of energy to maintain the osmotic through the process of osmoregulation in order to remain in an ideal stage. The conclusion that we can draw from this experiment is that the differences in salinity affect the respiratory rate of fish. Fish with the highest salinity treatment had the most opercular movement, while the movement of fish at the highest salinity will be slower because the fish will save energy for osmoregulation for ideal conditions.